Hey there, uh, welcome to Back to School Night for English for CP. Uh, my name is Jeff Wasserman. Uh, I teach this class with Kyle Murphy, who's our in-class support teacher. Um, and I just wanted to let you know a little bit about the class, how it works, and most importantly, how excited we both are to be working with your students this year. Um, you know, this is my 19th or 20th year teaching. It's my 19th year teaching. Um, and I have come to really understand that teaching the 4CP level is my favorite thing. I, I absolutely love working with this level of, of student. Um, I love working with seniors, especially, um, and the college prep level is great because it lets, um, it lets us work together on some of the reading and writing skills that we need to do. Um, it lets us get into some real conversations, get dig deep into the issues. Um, and really have a good time and you know push the kids forward in terms of their learning and their understanding. So thank you for sending your students uh, and I am eternally grateful for getting to teach this level yet again. Really love it. Um, so what we do in this class is you know we are really focusing on getting students to become better critical readers, better writers, um, smarter talkers, you know, supporting what they're saying with textual evidence, responding to one another instead of just, you know, waiting for their turn to talk, really like carrying on the conversation. Um, so those are the big focuses. Um, we assess with a lot of uh, different methods, um, in-class essays, long-term writing uh, projects. Um, students are actually just finishing one up right now um, about our first short story unit. So you probably heard something about that. You will have some tests, some, you know, some other kinds of projects, some Socratic seminars, prepared discussions, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's really, uh, that's that. Okay. Um, next, let's advance this slide. Here are, um, here are some of the books that you're going to see brought home this year. Um, we actually have not yet started reading any novels yet. Um, as I said, we're in a sh uh, finishing up a short story unit and beginning a poetry unit. I'm going to start the year with those. Um, just to get those um, those literary analysis skills and writing skills kind of sharpened um, on shorter works. And then we can start looking at some longer ones. We'll be starting the year with um, our first novels, at least. First novel will be like Water for Chocolate, and we're going to be reading A Streetcar Named Desire around the same time. So you'll see those uh, pretty soon, a couple of weeks. Um, and then, you know, give the students a little bit more independence uh, to do their analysis work and to do the reading. Okay. Um, our homework policy uh, is a departmental policy. It's in full effect. You can find that on the English department website. Um, we are really hoping this year that students will uh, be comfortable enough to come to us with questions, uh, with any issues they have, um, to look for help. Um, you know, we make ourselves very uh, easy to find and as available as humanly possible. Um, and we are counting on these students as seniors and as young adults to uh, ask us for help. Obviously, that's easier for some students than for others. Um, and, you know, we will track students down if we need to, but we'd like them to try coming to us first. Uh, we are using a total point system for assessment this year. So each assignment is worth, you know, some number of points. Students earn however many points they earn, and then that's how we calculate the, the final grade. This works out really well for most students. It does, however, become a little bit of a problem if students miss a lot of assignments. Um, you know, it, it can drag down your grade pretty severely. So we want to make sure that students are getting their work done. If they need help, they're asking for help. Um, they're revising when they can um, that they, so they can maximize their, uh, their points. Okay. Um, and then in terms of technology, um, we have, uh, you know, a few different ways of keeping in touch. Um, we put everything, all of our work onto Google Classroom. This is how students uh, will uh, submit their work. This is how we can get communication going between us and the students, you know, outside of school. Uh, you as a parent or guardian can get access as well. There's a way to sign up for um, daily or weekly digests of your students' work. We really recommend doing that. Um, we have a class website, I'll show you that in just a second. Um, where we, you know, where we post, you know, calendars and, you know, assignment details and like daily lessons and things like that. And then, of course, the easiest way to reach us uh, is by email. 
email addresses are down here, kmurphy at whrhs.org and jwasserman at whrhs.org. Um, we'd ask that you email, maybe email both of us um, when you can, if it's if it's like a general question about the class, if it's something specific for one or for one of us, um, you know, fine, reach out to, to us individually. And we will do our best to get back to you, you know, very, very quickly, um, you know, within, a, within one school day, certainly. Let me show you the website really fast. Um, this is something that we've been working on. So your students um, will see this every day. This is up on the board. Um, and we post it into Classroom when we need them to get to it. I'll show you a good example of um, what this looks like. So you'll see up at the top, every page has this on the top. It's um, uh, you, uh, a sign up link for extra help. This will take you right to my calendar for extra help. Kids can just pick a time. It tells me somebody's coming and then I know not to miss them. Um, then we go down, we've got you know our, our objectives, the text we're using, kind of the standards we're dealing with. And then here are the instructions for the lesson. You know, we will walk students through them. We will help students uh, get through these steps, but you'll see that on here there are links that open up into new into new pages it tells you know students what to submit and and where um, all the resources that they might need are down here uh, it gives them homework assignments so this is something that um, that is available to students all the time uh, you can get to this through the link that i left in google classroom you can also get to uh, i have a link to this in my um, email signature your students know how to get to this so this is something that um I really think uh, everybody should be taking advantage of. It's a good way to, to keep informed as to what's going on. That's about it for right now. I encourage you to reach out if you've got any questions. Uh, reach out via email. We can always call you if you'd prefer to talk on the phone. Um, you know, just stay in touch this year. Keep us informed as to any concerns or questions you have. And uh, we're really looking forward to working together with you and with your student to make this a really successful year. Thank you so much and uh, enjoy the rest of Back to School Night.